If you're a leader that likes to learn, then you know what it's like to attend a workshop or listen to a video like this and leave with a long list of things you need to do. Well, today is different. I'm not gonna give you anything else to add to your already overwhelming to-do list. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what you need to stop doing immediately in order to grow your business and lead a team of excellence. Stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Smart Leadership with your host, speaker, author, and influencer, Beth Caldwell. Most of the women who attend my Leadership Academy for Women have more work and less time than ever before. And you know what's interesting? They seem to constantly add more tasks and take on more projects, even though they are completely overwhelmed. Now, I know from experience that taking on too much is a bad idea and you're setting an awful example for the rest of your team. If you want to become a more effective and productive person at work, then here's my advice. Decide what you need to stop doing. That's right. If you want to move ahead as a leader, if you have big things that you want to accomplish, then you are going to have to let go of some of the tasks on your list. Now, I might be asking you to break a habit that you've had for a long time. So how do you get started with this? Where should you begin? Well, here are my two favorite things to stop doing immediately. Number one, stop solving other people's problems. Have you designated yourself as the go-to problem solver and fixer of all issues? Well, that's a big mistake. If you've trained your staff to run to you with minor issues, then you already know that these constant interruptions wreak havoc on your productivity. People will constantly come to you and you'll be dealing with drama and petty issues all day long. When you solve other people's problems for them, then you wind up working late to get your own work done. And how can you ever find the time to take on new projects? Encourage people to resolve issues on their own. Say things like this. Well, what do you think would work? What have you tried so far? And here's a good one. I'd really like to help, but I can't right now. If you don't find a solution by lunchtime, come and find me. That one always works well. All right, here's tip number two, and it's one of my favorite strategies for accomplishing a lot, and this is also the hardest one for me personally to master, and that is stop overbooking yourself. This is a habit that was really hard for me to break because I have a serious condition, and it's known as time optimism. And this is a common struggle among leaders. Time optimism is the tendency to think that you can get more done than is realistically possible. When you're making your plans and creating your to-do lists, consider what you have outlined and ask yourself, would it be reasonable to expect any other person to accomplish all of this in one day? Maybe not. So if that's the case, rearrange things to be more practical. Now, I know this can be challenging, but trust me, when you stop overbooking yourself, you will not miss feeling frazzled and overbooked. And any extra space in your day can be spent on all the new ideas and interesting projects that you've been wanting to try. So there you are, two important things that you need to stop doing to become more productive. Let me know if these tips help you. And for more information about Leadership Academy for Women, visit my website, pittsburghprofessionalwomen.org. See you soon. Thank you for watching Smart Leadership with Beth Caldwell. For more leadership tips and to learn about having Beth inspire and motivate your audience, visit BethCaldwell.com. Also, browse the other shows found on Miss Biz TV Shows Network.